Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me now? Uh, that's funny. Sorry about that. All right. Rewind. Let's start all over again. Aloha, YouTubers. Hi, I'm a rock, and I'm coming back at you with another live stream. And in today's live stream, I have a box. Now, are you ready for unboxing? But first thing first, the trusty razor. Remember, folks, in handy shop objects or razors, please be careful to not injure yourself or cut yourself. And for those who are under the age of 18, please get your parents' permission. Now, let's go do this unboxing. Uh, before I do this unboxing, <coughs> if you want to go cheat and want to know what's in the box, I have several things in the box. But uh, I, I do have the links in the description box below if you want to go check out what's in the, what's, uh, if, uh, the contents that's in this box. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you want to go check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, when I saw it, I was like, man, had to get it, had to get it. Had to put myself in debt. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, links in the description box below. Um, they are affiliate links. So again, uh, if you do, even if you don't purchase this item by just clicking on the link and if you end up doing purchasing something, uh, it doesn't have to be something from Amazon or uh, <laughs> It doesn't have to be um, what's in the box here. Um, I do get some kind of kickback, and every uh, <clears throat> every little thing will help, uh, be a great support to my chat, uh, to me, and to this channel, and be able to uh, 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 make more content in the future. That if you folks like watching my content, but it looks like lately nobody likes to watch my content on YouTube. But a lot of people like to watch my content on Instagram and on TikTok, which is kind of funny. But I think that's Instagram and TikTok is the future. Sorry, YouTube. <laughs> it was, it's been a nice ride. But uh, first thing first, like I said, uh, I plan to upgrade my lighting system. My lighting in my uh, my desk or studio. So this is a AF or a frog desk light. So it should help with the lighting. Um, it's not the end all be all, but I'm gonna give this a whirl. That's how it goes. So look forward to that. And then, um, oh, more than one goodie, what is this? Oh, and I got a iPad uh, desktop holder. So I can open this later on. My iPad and then should open this one first. So <clears throat> I have two cool exciting things that I purchased on Amazon. Well, actually four things, but um, two RC related um, boxes. Uh, so this should be cool, should be interesting. I don't know, I'm, I might be late on this one, but it's okay. Um, so one is from actually Easy RC, but I guess it's a, uh, it's a, uh, Um, I think a partnership with what they call RO Hobby or Ro Hobby. So this is a I'm gonna open later. Uh, the first one that I'm gonna open up is from Easy RC, um, which is here. As you know, uh, I do have since the <clears throat> first Easy RC Hobby I purchased. Um, this is a Jeep Wrangler I purchased on Amazon. Uh, I, I really like it. I like the real uh, the, the scale look. Um, it's very scale. So if you want some uh, um, something that's small and very scale looking, I recommend the Easy RC. Uh, it runs pretty good on the trail. It's not the best rock crawler, but as a trailer scaler, um, perfect. Um, yeah, try to do some hard rock rock crawling on this, but um, it. I don't know why it didn't perform as well. Um, probably because yeah, because of the small wheels and tires. It's actually uh, stock size, actual or one scale, or real scale size wheels and tires. And um, hopefully one day, Easy RC, um, they have upgrades or enjoy the upgrades uh, for Easy RC. That'd be cool, super cool. Being able to uh, modify or upgrade your RC, right? Especially on a the one to eight, one on eighteen scale, and uh, or the, even the axials one twenty fourth scale. So 
Looks like this is the instruction manual right here. So this is what they call a Bronx 118, Easy RC 118 Bronx. So this is the uh, clone version of the Ford Bronco. I guess for uh, trademark purposes, they have to, they can't name it the Ford, uh, Ford Bronco or Bronco. So instead of adding the CO at the end, they eliminated the CO and just added the X. Um, the folks want to guess uh, which color I got. So there, there was two color options. You want you can get the yellow and or the gray color. I guess that's. The... <laughs> you want to take a guess before I unbox this thing? This actually is a pretty good. Man, I like the box because um, huh, this packaging is real awesome. So right, on a box says here, uh, lithium battery shocks. Rudders machine or oh, 1k servo ready to run 2.4 gigahertz. Um, yeah, wow. So it comes pretty well protected in packaging. Um, this is like a foam or cooler packaging. And it's, I guess, uh, oh wow, check that out. Like rubber straps, I guess. Uh, stretchable. You know, this is a great company when the packaging is awesome. Um, I know what I can do. Since now I have an overhead cam, let me go shrink myself. So, shrinky, shrinky. Oh, that's too much. Too much of a good thing. I don't know what happened to my Logitech. Okay, so. I guess I can. Let's see what happens if I raise you a bit. All right. Give you folks a better view. All right. Okay, so this is the box right here. Um, Styrofoam. Can use it as like a cooler. So that's how it comes in the packaging. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. And so you have your uh, USB um, charger for your uh, lithium or your lithium or your lipo battery, 7.4 volts, 38 or oh, 380 milliamp. So it's a 2.8112 uh, watt hour 5C discharge lipo battery. Um, and then you have a P wrench that comes with it. I should take it out of the package. So here you go, USB charger for your LiPo battery. Your uh, 7 point volts, uh, 380 milliamp um, LiPo battery. And it comes with a T wrench. You, can, you cannot have too many of these. T wrenches, and here it is, folks. Some stickers. So it looks like some license plate stickers. We have California. Uh, I'm, either this could be Korean or Chinese. Um, I know CZ, Czechoslovakia, maybe, and then New York. No Hawaii uh, front license plates, and then. You have is your remote. Wow, this is cool. Oh, this looks like the. Uh, oh no! Um, oh, this is awesome. Check that out. Yeah, one-handed banded man. I like how they uh, made the uh, wheel steering wheel big. Oh man, get in the trails. Check that out. That is awesome. Oh, one-handed banded. Oh yeah. Look at that. Check that out. If you pop the top, you have the on and off button, steering trim, throttle trims, and that's about it. Um, looks like this is only a two channel, yeah, two, two channel radio, 2.4 gigahertz, um, right there. It needs, oh, um, okay. <laughs> this is new. 
because it had, yeah, not too sure. But we had the instruction manual. Okay. Is that it? No battery. So it doesn't come with the batteries. Okay, so an instruction manual. The whole thing is supposed to pop out. All right, there you go. So there's four double A's. Oh, well, you got to get triple A's, four triple A batteries. Um, so basically, there's a clip right here. A clip right here to lock it and unlock it. So uh, four triple A batteries, uh, you, you will need to operate this transmitter. So I don't, I do have, I think I have, so I can't just, so this is the other transmitter. So you can see night and day, man, come the steering wheel. So all I did there was added this foam or rubber piece on the top on here to make just a tad bit bigger, which is cool. Um, yeah, this one is only needed three double A's. So again, this was a two channel radio um this is for the jeep so you, you have these like carbon fiber um look on the transmitter not too bad and then here it is the ford bronco or ford bronx i mean the bronx <laughs> wow i like the color uh, it's awesome. It looks like a metal uh, <clears throat> gray cutter. Or cutter, cutter. <laughs> a gunmetal color. All right. It's got detail. Uh, and it's is it Lexan or plastic? The paint job looks so awesome that it's a hard plastic. <clears throat> so it has an interior. You can see the interior. You can see the seats, the steering wheel. And this is underneath, so you can see the uh, motor, the brush motor, the suspension. Shocks are pretty soft. And it can be, you know, see the steering servo right there, uh, four link suspension. So, how do we pop the front? There's the front view. That's pretty cool. And very, very scaled and very detailed. It's the rear view with the spare tire. It's very scaled. Okay, you can't even see the interior. That's pretty awesome. And So I guess you have to remove that cover. Do we need to screw it off? I said the hood pops open. Yes, no. Does the hood pop open? Because on the, the, the Jeep, you can pop the hood. Not too sure where I put the jeep in. Where did I put you? I got, did I cover you? So, if you want to make a quick comparison, oh, wow, this thing is uh, yeah a lot taller. Bronco is a lot taller than the jeep, even in wheelbase. It's a tad bit longer. You see the hood pops open. I don't know. I don't. That, And I did get so mm. 
this guy is not the use for a long time plugin tip. Oh yeah, so I didn't tell you how to open. Oh yeah, this gonna this is gonna be this is gonna this is gonna rule. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Okay, so yeah, on the boxes, the hood pops open. Oh, light come on. Okay, so I got the hood open. If you have to just dig it in there, dig in there. But here's the battery, no battery. <laughs> I mean, here's the, where you can see the steering servo. And the, I, I guess like four in one, uh, or the receiver ESC, two in one. Looks like. Just place the battery right here. And then connect it. Yes. And close the hood. Real simple, real easy. Okay. Close that. She's good to go. On and off switch is inside the hood. <laughs> so, if you want to open open this. Yeah, on and off right there. <clears throat> so, and the headlights work pretty cool. But because I don't have double A batteries, no triple A batteries, I mean, I think I do, but um, once I get the triple A batteries, I'll do a extensive. Uh, Overview, you can even stuff everything in here, charger and all. <laughs> if you wanted to. They closed, no. Yeah. So, here we go, folks. The Bronx, Easy RC. Um, pretty cool. I really like it, man. It's pretty awesome. Like, like I said, I do have the link in the description box below if you want to go check it out. Uh, oh, you want to see it compared to the um, Bronco SCX24? <laughs> and it's, it's so tiny. I should do it out of it. Yeah, that's so tiny. I think this thing is so tiny. 
Yeah, I'm very similar. So that's the comparison side by side. Yeah, so I would say about inch and a half longer. You compare the two. All right, that's enough comparison. Can do a real very detailed comparison. This is an unboxing. So, um, on to box number two. I remember where I put it. Right, so here we go. You want to take a guess what's in the box? When I saw this, ah, this is like, oh man, I think this is right here is the, this is, I would say, the future of scaling rock crawling right here. <clears throat> I mean, if you don't have this in your RC collection, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's it. So this is a, uh, uh, ro is it rock hobby? I think it's rock hobby. Yeah, rock hobby, um, in partnership, I guess, with Easy RC. I don't know if they're the same company. They probably are, or partnership, but. Here's the instruction manual. So it's a Cheyenne, but it's Rock Hobby 118 scale Cheyenne 6x6. Pretty cool. So this is the box right here. Here goes the details, injection molded hard body, 6x6 all wheel drive, functional hood, functional light control, that's LED light for on and off functional indicators, scale interior features, Rhino bumper kit, high traction empty tire with 1.0 inch interval head, bead lock wheel, realistic pinion and ring gear axle, high torque transmission with 100, 104 to 1, FDL, 2.4 GHz radio, high torque oversized 55 turn brush motor, 7.422S LiPo battery, providing up to 30 minute runtime, metal grider, metal girder. Frame rails, tune co shocks. Uh. So again, same type of foam box. Is this it? Open here. All right, so <clears throat> here we have is the transmitter. Uh, I'm gonna have to label these. Um, exact same one as the Bronx. So again, probably gonna, yep, same four AAA batteries. Gonna have to make a pit stop. We have uh, I use some bumper parts. I guess this is for the rear of the bed. So they like that. Oh, this. <laughs> guess it goes like goes a little something like this. Oh, I guess there's screws, it comes with screws, yeah. I'm not gonna mess with it. So it comes with these screws. Then you have your 
Wow, it's got a JK uh, Jeep bumper. Check that out. That is awesome. And it has uh, built-in LED lights. Oh, that's super cool. Is it, is it functional? How do I plug it in? Or maybe it's not functional. Yeah. And again, your charger, T wrench. This one looks different from the other one. Yes. So this one's labeled differently. And then your T wrench. Again, add to the collection. Yeah, this is like the coolest thing, man. <clears throat> and then we have a vehicle. <clears throat> so it comes with a snorkeling. This is so cool. Look at the interior. Can you see the interior? Look at the side. All right. This is so awesome. So <clears throat> six by six. Six wheels on each side. Or three wheels on each side. Here's the suspension. Oh man, this is awesome. Steering servo. Like uh, two, four, six link suspension. No, four plus two, four. Oh, I like how they, like, the wires. So I guess the rear lights work. Not too much. Front primer bumper goes. Okay, yeah, so there's a two screws right here. One, two, and then um goes like that. No. Oh no. Okay, so right there you stick in right there. Like that. There's two holes right here. Well one hole each on this side. See the holes? Just line it up and then screw it on and it should look like this. Put the bumper on. Yeah, that's super cool, man. <laughs> oh, peel off. So <clears throat> that is the what's under the hood. So you right, you have your uh, lipo battery right in here. Right? It's probably the same thing. Um, Seven point four volts, two hundred milliamps. Five um, C lipo battery can be connected to here. Then your um, your receiver ESC 
all in one and then steering servo um, yeah super cool This is probably the antenna. Oh wow, yeah, this thing is awesome. Can't wait to hit the trails with this. Oh yeah, this thing is awesome. Oh yeah, <clears throat> this is gonna have a lot of stability out on the trails. I wonder. Yeah, man. Imagine if you could just put like put like a suspension lift on this, and and then um. Oh my God, this thing is gonna be awesome. So in comparison. I should, I should do this. Well, here you have the comparison with the Bronx side to side. Um, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a downscaled version. So yeah, <laughs> looking forward to uh, taking this boat on on the trails. Man, this is going to be an awesome. It's going to be so cool. Anyways. Anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. All right. So that's it for this live stream. Hope you folks enjoyed this live stream. So once again, I do have the links in the description box below. If you want to go check out these cool RCs. <clears throat> you know. These are very high quality, well made RCs, man. Um, can't wait to take this out on the trails. Um, yeah, super cool. Thanks. Who needs to go to one tenth scale, one fifth scale, or <laughs> or one eighth scale when you can go one eighteenth or higher? <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, that's it. Uh, like I said, I do have the links in the description box below if you want to go check out these uh, RCs uh, for yourself or pick up yourself an yeah, awesome, cool looking 118 scale RC. So, I want to say I appreciate and uh, <laughs> thank you everyone. Appreciate every single one of you. Uh, you folks have a great rest of your evening, morning, afternoon, uh, whatever, wherever in the world. So till my next live stream or VOD, take care and aloha, shaka, and I'm out.